Welcome to a Simple Life. I'm Cal, the boys are here with me. They just fed the pigs, and we are gonna be coming up tomorrow and processing these two pigs. There's two of them in there. They're about the right size, and to be honest, it's getting a little wet up here, and I don't like them to be on the wet, muddy hillsides because they do a lot of damage and cause a lot of erosion. So, they've been eating underneath our apple trees and our prune trees, and they've been getting tomatoes all summer long, and as well as some grain, they are going to be delicious because we've done this in the past and the meat tastes absolutely amazing. So, tomorrow we're gonna come up. I'm not gonna show you all that. I just figured I'd tell you guys. We are gonna currently go up and we're gonna do some firewood because, well, while we have nice dry logs and they've been being seasoned over the last uh, two years, they're actually been sitting out for two years, they are not chopped into firewood. So we are gonna start doing that today because it's a nice, beautiful evening. Obviously, we have our compost covered. And so we did that the other day after we got some rain because I wanted plenty of moisture in there. But I also didn't want it to get so wet that it would end up being a big sopping mess. So let's check the temperature. We'll start at this end. Um, obviously, the end of this right here has been exposed to some weather, but we'll just stick this in. This is our. This should be our cooler end. We should be like right around, like we'll call it 80, 90 degrees. We shouldn't be much more, much higher than that. Oh, there we go. We got 100. All right. So it's about 100 degrees in there. Um, I'm not surprised. I came in yesterday and kind of repiled this all, so I definitely introduced a bunch more oxygen in there. Once again, not super surprised. But this end, on the other hand, I think we're gonna be easily at the 160. We're gonna be pushing the top end to the limit of what you really want. We're getting into active slash hot, right in that range. We're not at 160, which is good. I'm actually happy with that. I really don't want it getting that hot, but sometimes it does. That's really good. I'm really happy with that. I thought we were gonna be warmer than that. To be honest, I thought we were gonna be, you know, 160, like I said. So we have plenty of room to expand our pile out and we will probably be doing that. I'll be bringing up a lot more horse manure and actually my neighbors um, offered to give me all their cow manure. And so I'll probably be bringing that up this winter. By being the only one in the area that kind of does this, <clears throat> I have like an endless supply of horse manure and cow manure. But for right now, it's time to get some wood made. So we're gonna load up the wood splitter and we're gonna start bucking into the back of the truck and we're gonna get everything set up to make some firewood over the next couple days. We got a good amount of wood in here. Not too much, not too little. We gotta do a little maintenance on the splitter before we head down to our place. This is probably about an hour and a half worth of splitting. It goes really quick because everything's right here. It's already here. And all I have to do is push the stuff right off the end of the truck. I did a video last winter about how we did our neighbor's uh, firewood for him, uh, specifically because he needed some firewood and he had a rough summer, so we helped him out. And this is how we did it and it worked really, really well. So we're gonna imitate it and try it this year down at our place. I think it's gonna work just as well because, well, it's easy. You only pick up the log once. Well, 
humanly pick it up once. Well, we did the maintenance on this that needed to be done. We had a few things actually were a little bit of a problem. We had a stuck valve, so we actually had to open it up, lubricate that valve, probably because we haven't used it in like almost a year. So Clint's gonna grab one last oak log and then he's gonna hold it up here and I'm gonna chop it up and then we're all gonna go down the hill in the truck and we are going to get it all split and the boys are gonna stack it. They haven't stacked wood this whole summer yet. We are going to split all the firewood and we're gonna have it stacked along here. Right now, we're gonna do it. It's gonna be like abracadabra, it's gonna be done. You guys won't even break a sweat, trust me. You'll have a blast. Easiest time you've ever had splitting firewood, right girls? Yeah, they all shook their heads over there. So it's the next day, and here's our pile of wood. It's not too huge, but I'll say it's probably about two and a half, three quarts, like I was saying last night. Now, it did rain today, but it's okay. It's gonna be really nice for the next week, and we just got a sporadic little downpour. I have tarps over there, and in the winter, we actually tarp all this once we get this all stacked up. Last night, that went so easy. We got so much done so quickly that I think it's gonna make doing firewood a lot less of a pain than it's been in the past. And it hasn't been too bad in the past, but splitting it up at Herman's and then loading it in a truck and then bringing it down and then and stacking it again, that's a little cumbersome. It's a little awkward. So I like what we're doing. All right, let's get up to Herman's and see what the boys are up to because the boys have been up there for a couple hours now. I just got up to Herman's. The boys have been up here. They cleaned up the pig area. They picked up all the fencing. Then they went up, they made sure the goats had water. They let them out and let them graze for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. They don't know this, but on my way home from work today, I got a fuel filter for them. 
and a battery. So now this little 22 horsepower little craftsman, they can get it running. Probably. When they come down, there's gonna be a little bit of a surprise here. Obviously this thing isn't running, but I'm gonna tell you right now, Clint's watched me work on enough motors. And like I said, I'm not helping. Other than getting some parts for them, I'm not helping. They're gonna have to do it all themselves and figure it out. We'll see what ends up happening because they are gonna be very stoked to work on this. Hey, meow meows. Oh, yes. You want your bellies rubbed? You want your bellies rubbed? Oh, your purrs. Yeah, just the purrs, loving the purrs. All right, let's get up to the top. We're gonna cut some more firewood. We're not gonna be taken down to our place tonight, but we're still gonna start cutting it because if we cut maybe an hour or so every night, we'll get all our firewood and Herman's done for the next, well, year at least, if not more. And some of this we just like to store. Some of it um, will be burned this year. A lot of this was all standing dead, like I've said in the past. So once you uh, split it, it's pretty darn good. You don't really have to worry about much. The outside will be a little on the wet side, but once you put it in a shed or put a tarp over it, it'll be fine. Especially since we have a couple weeks of really nice weather coming up, that'll all dry out. We're not gonna worry about it. Hi. What are you boys up to? Watering the goats. Well, we were watering the goats. You were watering the goats. And you guys cleaned up the pig area? Yeah, yeah. Very good. And the goats got plenty of uh, area to graze in? Yeah. yeah, they did. Good. Hey, let's do a quick, let's do some quick firewood real quick, okay? Before it gets too late. Okay, so we're just gonna, we're gonna buck a bunch into here, okay? Can we do that? Okay. Yeah. All right. 